hello welcome to my channel my name is amber kelly and today i will be doing just a little simple diy um if you would like to watch that please stick around and also hit that subscribe button um we have actually made it over 400 subscribers so kudos and thank you all for that that have subscribed and are continuing to watch me um and those that comment down below thank you as well so like i said i'm just gonna do a little simple diy nothing major um yeah so like i said if you would like to watch that please stick around and let's get started okay so this is my wellness planner that i got from family dollar so i will link the video down below um the whole setup like i said this planner was under ten dollars and three ring binder i made this myself using my tab um punch and this is my these are my weeklies so i have done something different for this week and i will be filling that out um i also have the dividers i never did put anything on them and i don't have a label maker right now so for now i just put my um what are these things my little labels right here and i just cut them down to where i could just write weekly and my monthly because the weekly and the monthlies are not together they are actually separate so that's what i did with that so far and this is what i see when i open up to my monthly so i have already set up my monthly um, because it was literally looking like this at first because I had not set it up yet. But I just used my colorful um, sticker book to get the days of the week. Just cut them down a little bit to where they can fit. Um, I just put take note. I used my um, dates, the numbers that come with the extension pack. So I just used that. And I just did something right there, just something quick to jot down. But I don't like looking at this when I open up to my monthly. So I need to cover this up. And this will be the only page that I will have to cover up because the rest of them actually just open up to the monthly. And I think it was just only this page that did that. So I'm going to use something to cover that up. And I'm because this is my... Um, are you okay binder planner my doctor's appointment um, I do have multiple things going on with my body I do have severe depression I have severe anxiety and I have endometriosis and I have chronic migraines so I need to track all of that um, I have terrible insomnia so and some be like nobody's business so i need to be able to track that as well so when i go to the doctor the doctors won't think i'm going cuckoo for cocoa puffs so these are the i think these came out of because these were gifted to me so i think these are the health kind of like health um stickers but I do want that motivational part right there when I open this up to remind myself to take care of my body. It is okay to take care of my body. And I'm just going to add some other little fun random stickers I have just to kind of use them up. So, yes. So, like I said, I'm going to use to cover this up. And I'm actually going to use cardstock. And I'm actually going to laminate the cardstock and I'm just going to adhere the cardstock to this page right here using my two sided tape that I got from Family Dollar. I did have my um, adhesive tape. I don't know what happened to it. So right now I'm just using this until I'm able to get some more. Yes, the struggle is real. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get started and i'm going to go ahead and get my um cardstock right now so be right back okay so i have my cardstock and if you all have been watching my channel long enough 
you will know that my favorite color is purple. So I'm trying to decide whether if I want to use the pastel. And like I said, I got this from Walmart. So you get 50 sheets for $5. So I have the pastel and I have the bright. Um, I think I kind of want to keep it soft in here. That way it doesn't overpower those stickers that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get my light purple out. And I have already warmed up the laminator, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I have warmed up my laminator and now my laminator is off, which is weird. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this out. Sorry about the noise. And all I need is just one sheet of cardstock. So we have that. And what I want to do is I actually want it to be the same size as this paper, not the divider. So I'm actually going to take one sheet from my monthly. I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to kind of like measure it so I can't do it the short way this way so I have to do it the longer way and and I'm going to try to get this as close as I can to the bottom and also I asked a while back before if you all wanted to see me lay this um, I guess you would call this adhesive marble that I have on my desk. If you want to see me lay that down, um, let me know. I'll probably go ahead and just do the video and post it anyway. Um, just in case if somebody does want to see it, then it'll be here. So I'm going to need a pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pencil and see what's wrong with my laminator right fast and I will be right back. Okay, the catastrophe is over with. So the laminator is back working. The plug was just loose, which is not uncommon. So I'm just going to try to line this up. And like I said, I have it as close as I can to the paper. And I'm just kind of like just going to draw that line. That way I get a pretty good idea of where I want my page to be. And of course, if you see the pencil marks, it will be okay because you can always go back and erase them if needed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that up, which I just could have actually, if I wanted to, I could have just stuck the page on here and just did it without doing the pencil marks. But we're going to see how she does. And I'm also going to use my corner punch as well. So, line this up right. Okay. And I'm just going to try to get an overview of how far I am off, which I am not off. I'm off a little bit, but that is more like wiggle room for me. So, I'm actually fine with that. So, I'm just going to line this up to here and I'm actually going to 
use this as a marker on where I want to cut without actually cutting the actual paper. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hole punch, which everybody has one of these old school hole punchers. So I'm just going to line those holes up. Okay. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I don't need the I don't need that anymore. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use my corner punch. Oops. If I can keep it in my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and corner punch this and as y'all know I have went through all of my planners and all of my planner pages have been corner punched so I no longer have um, planner paper that just has the straight edge the pointy edge like what you just saw so okay so because this is the side I want to adhere to, this is the actual, this is how it would lay. And when I look over, this side will be that side. So this is the side that I want the stickers on. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying stickers down. And because I have already hole punched this, that is a good thing that way. Once I've laid the stickers down, I don't have to worry about putting a hole in the stickers. So. And sorry for my nails. When you have four active boys, you tend to have nails like four active boys. Okay. So. I think I'm going to move this up and I want this right here because I want to put all of that on there and I kind of I don't like bending it just because it leaves that ugly indentation where you have bent your paper and it's not a cute look me and I'm pretty sure this will not be straight so it doesn't even matter as long as I like it so like I said the stickers were given to me um I guess that I guess there is some kind of and all the stickers are gone so that is a good thing when you get rid of all of your stickers um, I guess there is some kind of like healthy hero sticker book or something. I don't know. I just know that since this is my health planner and my pain management planner, it's only fitting that I have these kind of stickers on here. And I'm just going to put that right there. And I have some swans here. I'm probably going to use the small, well, I only have two, but use the two smaller um, swans. Um, just because I don't really have any room to put any big swans. I have two big swans. I don't have anywhere I could put that, so... We're going to go with the smaller swans and bathing suits. So, I'm not exactly sure. Oops, sorry. I'm not exactly sure what book this came out of. But, why not add some?
kind of like give it that summery feel but we want to be healthy feel as well this is giving off real blue and purple I'm getting real blue and purple vibes from this and like I said I can't put the the bigger swans on here and I don't want to add too many more colors I'm kind of like liking it the way it is so I think that is going to be it um I'm going to go ahead and look for a quote to put on here. I may put it at the top of here. Um, so I'll be right back once I look for a quote. Okay. So I have pulled out my Amber Nietzsche. Um, I think there's a sticker back here that I could use. I could actually use Be Thankful. So we just got to get her off. Of there and I think that's all I'm gonna use as far as just putting stuff down um, yeah this was my this is well this is my Amber Nietzsche which y'all have heard me say that over and over and I'm trying to think do I need to move that down or am I good be thankful oh that's the only part about laying down stickers is if you press them down even just a slight little bit they get stuck stuck so you are left with I'm liking that okay so um I don't really see anything else that I could use um I probably could use this one just because it's kind of still in the purple bluish oh, purple bluish um, family so I'll probably put that right there and move that swimming suit down and then we should get ready to yeah that's the only part I don't like about this so when you do that little dent Kind of like hard to get rid of the little dent that you made so let yourself rest and I have a huge problem with that because I scratch this crooked I scratch myself really really thin all of the time because I'm either doing something for someone or my kids need me for something. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm actually going to get two. I'm going to get two because I do want to keep this. And let me trim off the edge of here. Okay. And I want to put it as close as I can to the top right here. So even if I don't get to adhere it to that paper, um, It'll be right there because it's going to be a little room because when you get ready to when you get ready to cut you're going to have to leave some slack because you don't want to cut off the laminating part to where you will open it back up 
so that's what we don't want to happen and you want to make sure all air bubbles are not inside and you want to make sure that this is close to the edge as possible okay and now i'm going to bring over my laminator and i got this off of amazon so this is not the scotch brand i did have a scotch brand and you know once you move you don't feel like taking extra stuff with you so it's much easier just to buy stuff i know i shouldn't do such things but that's what happens in real life okay so what i want to do is i want to hold this as flat as i can and i want this side to go in first because whatever air bubbles will probably get trapped it can that heat can make it go down this way and the air bubbles can escape so we just want to place her in here and like i said before these sheets are three millimeter sheets and i use two now you can use five millimeter sheets and you can actually use two of those which will equal up to a 10 instead of having to actually buy the 10 uh, millimeter laminating sheets you can actually do this so it's basically up to you and like i said all the air bubbles that would possibly be will be coming out this way and my laminator is acting right so praise god and like i said this does not matter because the sheet will be on top of here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop and i'm actually going to cut off as close so i'm going to show you so if you can see where like this little line is right here you don't want to cut that far close you actually want to cut just right above that because if you cut into this you're opening up the laminating sheet and you have wasted a laminating sheet because you're opening it up to be opened again and you would have done all of that work and wasted a laminating sheet for nothing and i don't like wasting anything because my name is the thrifty crafty queen i could make anything that looks or came from a two dollar store look good and i'm not bragging but hey you do what you can do so like i said i'm placing this afar from where it is laminated and this part right here you can actually cut this just like i said long as it's not right here close to the edge this part all of that you can cut off because it's already sealed so it's sealed before it even got to that part that's just the top part that's left over and you want as less possible hanging stuff so again i'm going to use my hole puncher so it i mean not hole puncher but corner punch and punch that And because I cut this far enough away from where the opening would be, this corner punch is not opening this up. Now some, okay. And now I just have to trim that. But once I put it back through the laminating sheet, that will smooth that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and punch in, do my hole punch just in case because anytime you cut on this you want to make sure that it is 
even if there if even if it's not going to open back up you want to make sure that you kind of like resealing it and it's a little bit tougher to go across these two but you can get it done with no problem and it goes through both and I'm going to do this one sometimes we get a little stuck just because of the laminating sheets so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it back through and what I do is I go through this side I do this about five or six times just to make extra sure so since this is small enough I'm going to do the side so again if there's any air bubble it can come out through those little holes that are right there and I just want to ensure that I'm actually able to reuse this again as much as I want and again this seals everything back up and I periodically go back through all of my sheets that I've had that I have laminated and I go back <clears throat> I'm sorry I go back and I laminate stuff so I'm just going to do it on the other side and I do laminate on both sides so I re-laminate on both sides so I'm going to do that side and then I'm just going to keep doing it over and over. And while that is doing that, I could be prepping the prepping. Okay, get it together, Amber. Prepping. I cannot get it together. Prepping. You all get it. Prepping my sheet so it can adhere to this. So once I get through running this across here a couple of times, I'm going to come back and I'll show you how I will adhere it to the paper. Okay, so I'm back. So now that I am satisfied with how this is laminated, so I'll show you up close. Be thankful. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to love. Uh, let yourself rest. Love your body and teach your mind to respect it. It's never too too early or too late to work towards being your healthiest being the healthiest you so this is kind of like just again motivation I am big on quotes um, yeah I love a good quote so um, I'm going to move this back out of the way really and I'm just going to get that sheet and this is how it is going to look on here which is perfectly fine with me um you will be able to see some of the laminating sheet but that is fine with me so and i'm just going to start sticking my tape down and try to lay the tape flat as possible and the good thing with this tape is if I want to, I could actually take that sheet off of here and I could put it on another month if I wanted to. So this holds stuff, but this is definitely not like your adhesive tape where it's like once you put it down, nine times out of ten is not coming back up. So that is what I like about this. So if I wanted to, I could reuse this on another month. So I'm just going to get it on here good enough to where I know it is not going to come up. And this was like $2 at Family Dollar. Okay. So I am never too proud not to shop at Family Dollar. So I'm going to turn this sideways. So like I said, I want it to match with the holes the holes that I have punched so I'm just going to lay it on top and make sure it is on there correct and it is 
And there she goes. That is the opening page. So I'll show you what it looks like in my binder. So this is what she looks like. And I hope you can see that. Move back a little bit. And I'm opening it up to my monthly. And I don't see I don't see this part of the monthly on here like I did before. So I like it. Yes. So again, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as always, happy planning and see you next time. Bye.